see anybody? You didn't do anything stupid, did you? Like tell anybody I was here, did you? Oh, heavens no! I just went to the stop and shop to pick up those ham hocks you were hankering for. Bless you, Nan. I wouldn't tell anyone. I wouldn't tell anyone. I mean, I know it's not right, baby. No offense, but it's exciting. Sheltering a known criminal. If the girls in macrame could see me now. Bless you, Nan. I would do anything for you, Mr. Stello. You don't know how much I've always admired you and your husband. Well, I mean, I know that's a touchy point now, but the late Mr. Speaker and I had our little sad. Bless you, man. Well, you can win him back if you just... Are you my friend? Yes. Yes, of course. Can I... Trust you, Nan. Oh, of course, oh God, of course, Mrs. Bell. <laughs> the woman who with Cyrus. If she walks. Chola! I am Jane. I see her smile in my brain and those lips kissing Cyrus, that bitch licking and eating. Shit! <laughs> You never can tell where you are, and then it's, hello, Mommy, it's time to say goodnight. <laughs> You're going to take a long walk off that sharp prick, babe, and I'm the one who's going to be pointing and laughing as he flagellates himself in jello. Bill Cosby skewered upon a clean, white, sense post. That piggy, piggy, fat-ass bastard, Cyrus, fuck, fuck, Cyrus! Don't get it shoved right down her throat. And I'm going to be doing the shoving this time, and you will help me, Nan. You will help me take care of her. You will keep that cabana clean and tidy and cozy, and help me take care of that little fuck sized little friend, that little fuckhead whose corpse he will buy. You Help me, uh, I don't. You want me just help me feed her. Help me feed her. She won't have any fingers. My new baby will be white, so clean and sterile. And well, let's, let's keep her from under the kitchen sink or pity, pity, chlorine and lye burning down her throat where he stuck his forked tongue. Mrs. Bellow, where he was? Where? Mrs. Bellow. In the cabana, man. In the cozy, cozy cabana. She's there, man. She's getting hungry. My, my new baby hasn't eaten. You haven't been taking care of my child. She hasn't eaten in two days, Nan. Oh, well, I could whip up something for her, but I don't know what... Feed her. Feed her and wash her and shave her. Yes, shave her. Everyone, the long or short of it, everyone that he's touched. <laughs> She's in ropes, Nan, and if she, if she bites... Fuck! Ask Cyrus, does she bite? If she does, then we'll pull them one by one. Help me comfort our little captive man. <laughs> Mrs. Bellow, I don't mind sheltering you. I, I don't, but kidnapping, I don't think I can. You're not acting like yourself. A prisoner, it, it's just not like me. You will help me, Nan. And you will like it. No, Mrs. Bellow, I can't. I don't think that I, I think you can. Why, who could that be? I'm, I'm a good person, Mrs. Bellow. I, I don't hurt people. I'm not a bad person. Well, what do you know? It's 10 o'clock. That must be the milkman. <laughs> 